Whoa, what is all this? Ha, huh, incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone. Uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Prismarine crystals? You've got to be kidding me! Packed ice. I've only ever heard of this stuff. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Mm, very well. Just be careful with it. See? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Now that's pretty bright. Am I crazy or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? I think those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gotta borrow this. No way, is that what I think it is? Sorry, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Huh. 
Huh, five slots. Ender dragon egg, so cool. Let's try it here. Fast tears. Let's try them here. Prismarine crystals. Packed ice. Yes! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon! With replica Ender Crystals and all! Wow. I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm. No way out. Hmm. Interesting. banner about TNT. all four, but it isn't doing anything. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> We're missing something here, Soren. And I have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours. I have a key locked in my head? What I'm saying is, I think you need to tell me about the Ender Dragon battle. Oh, ha. Huh. If only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon is stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. 
we became heroes and eventually legends. The greatest the world has ever known. It was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Redstone. Another door? Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Uh, sorry, maybe the short version this time? Well, all right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT shockwave, the third with Eligard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. Ruben, do you know what to do here? Uh, well, it was worth a shot. 